All right, so let's talk about phase shift. Now, so far in phase shift, all we've talked about is when we're given a function, um, a sine of bx minus c and y equals a cosine of bx minus c. The only thing we've talked about so far with phase, with phase shift is that we're going to shift it depending on what c is. And remember, we talked about if c was positive, you're going to shift it to the left. And if she is C is negative inside the function, you're going to shift it to the left. Very similar to like quadratics. When it was inside that function, you shifted it to the opposite direction. But there comes a little point right now in this function, our B is actually going to affect our phase shift as well. So let's kind of go through a problem and I'll explain my point. Um, let's say we have Y equals A, well, that doesn't work, Y equals 3 sine of 2x minus pi over 2. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Well, equals sine times x minus pi over 2. Now, when looking at a function like this, we know that 3 is going to, going to be our am amplitude. But we look at x minus pi over halves, and just like we've talked before, since that's negative, that's going to tell us to shift to the right. So we're going to take our whole sine function and shift it pi over 2 units. Now, what I want to do is I want to look at that. We know we can always do that when our, when our coefficient of x is 1. So what happens when we don't have a coefficient of 1? Well, that's actually going to affect our graph. Because remember, 2, that was your b, right? And remember, b affected our period. And p, b was your period of how much you're going to compress or elongate your function. So when we have a b that's other than 1, that's going to affect our period. So our phase shift is actually equal to c divided by b. So let's take a look at actually our phase shift. Because in this example, you could say you're going to shift pi over 2 to the right. However, in this problem, we need to take, make sure we take c and divide it by b. So I'm going to take pi, negative pi, divided by 2, and divide it by 2. So multiplying by the reciprocal, what I actually have is negative pi over 4. So therefore, I'm actually, instead of shifting it pi over 2 to the right, I'm actually going to shift this graph pi over 4 to the right. So it's really important when you're dealing with phase shift that you understand if there's a b other than 1, you have to make sure you account for that phase shift by taking c divided by b. Then what that value is going to tell you where to shift it, either left if it's too positive or right if it's going to be to the negative. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's a quick little definition of your phase shift. Thanks.